Hi everyone, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be answering one question. Is there a perfect smart business card? If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's go ahead and discuss these smart business cards. So what I'm gonna do today is go through six different smart business cards. We have the OVU card, the Tappy card, the Vice card, Link card, Popple, and Blue Social. What I wanna do is go through a couple of pros and cons between each of the smart business cards. That way you can make the best decision to determine which smart business card is right for you. First, I'll start out with the OVU card. If you haven't already checked out my full review and unboxing of the OVU card, I'll link it in the description and up above on this video. With the OVU card, I really liked how easy the setup process was. There was no app needed and it was extremely user-friendly, which made it awesome to use. And with the OVU card, I was able to embed a video into my actual profile and link a specific link without having to pay any extra money for a subscription service or anything like that. Finally, one thing about the OVU card that is pretty cool as well is that on the actual website where you can look at your profile, you can actually click to have the QR code come up digitally. That way you can save the QR code in case you ever forget your smart business card at home. The minor downfall of the OVU card is its price. It is $160 and for some people that might just be a little bit too much to spend on a smart business card. However, if you don't need your logo on the business card, you can get it for $70. Another minor downfall is that the material does look and feel premium. However, it does get a little bit of scratches on it. And, you know, after a while of using it, I haven't noticed it too much, but it's definitely prone to scratches. So I would probably recommend not keeping it near a specific card with the, like a credit card with the numbers on it. Since I got the black business card, I can't actually see the scratches that much in it, so it doesn't really bother me. Next, we have the Tappy card. I chose the iridescent Tappy card version. It was only $40 and I was able to put my Instagram handle on there. So it's pretty cool. Um, the card quality is not so bad. It feels like a pretty standard plastic card, maybe like a hotel credit card. And the setup wasn't too difficult. Something like tagging my YouTube channel on my profile required me to have my channel ID, which to be honest, I didn't really know what my channel ID was, so I had to go and Google that. And so that was one extra step that made the setup process just a little bit more difficult. Also, the other thing about the Tappy card that I didn't quite like was that the actual website where you can see your where you can see your contact information was not very professional looking and it didn't really look that nice to look at. It was pretty plain. So it didn't feel like a true professional business card and a business app. Finally, you can't put any custom logos on the Tappy card. You can only put your name and whatever standard font they have. And the Tappy card has their own branding on it that says Tappy. So that's kind of a downfall that you don't get to just have your own information on there. The Tappy card comes in at $40, which is pretty affordable if you're just looking for something pretty simple to use. Next, we have the Vice card. The Vice card at first glance looks incredible. It has the gold finish on it and it's definitely thicker than all of the other business cards out there. However, if you look a little closer at the Vice card, it's since it's made out of metal, it's kind of it's kind of glued together on um, in some some aspects, which is kind of weird. And it's really easy to pull apart. I didn't actually pull it apart, but you can see here that there are two pieces sort of stuck together. Also, the setup was really, really confusing. I, I honestly, till this day, haven't really set up my business card profile because I was a little confused at how to do it. And maybe it's just user error, but 
I think that if you're gonna have a smart business card, it should be something easy to set up easily without having to go through all these extra steps and sort of stress out about it. Also, the Vice card came in at about $150 as well. So it's pretty similar in price to the OVU card, but I think the user friendliness or the lack of user friendliness really strayed me away from wanting to recommend the Vice card. Next, we have the Link card. Here, the Link card is in the bamboo finish. And what's really cool about it is that I was able to put my own logo and on the back side, it has a QR code. The Link card was about $48 and one of the really cool benefits of the Link card was that the website was super customizable, which is great if you're looking for a lot of different features within a website for your smart business card. However, for me, I didn't really need all those extra customizations, so it was also a little bit too advanced for me. So setting it up was not super difficult, even though it required an app, but it wasn't super user friendly. However, if you're a little more tech savvy, you will probably have an easy time customizing your specific website and adding all the information. The one thing about the link card is that the website also requires a $50 payment per year if you wanna use all of those extra customizations. So yes, you get the option to do it, but it's gonna come at a price. Finally, the last thing about the link card that I didn't quite like was the material. The bamboo card looked really cool, but I could probably snap this really easily. So if I were to put this in my pocket and sit down in it, I truly believe that it would break easily. So I've had to be, so I've had to be really careful with where I put this business card. And you know, that's not really something you wanna have to worry about because if you're spending, you know, $48 on a business card, you don't want it to crack in an instant. Next, we have the Popple card. As you can see here, there's no logo or my name. So the Popple card comes in at $20, which is fairly cheap for a smart business card. And it does require you to download an app to set up your account. I will say that the Popple card was really easy to set up and the app was very user friendly. The page itself for the Popple app opens up and has really large social media icons. So this is likely geared for a younger crowd who is more concerned about their, you know, Instagram and Facebook or TikTok account. So that is not really very professional in my opinion. It's more geared toward social media rather than, you know, actual clients and, and, and for working professionals. I also really liked the in the Popple card, the connect button, which was really cool because it let you add your name and email and then it would automatically send your information to the card owner and then it would sort of exchange the information easily. That way, both parties have each other's information. The huge con of the Popple card is that you can't add your name or any personal branding on it. So you sort of carry around this business card that just says Popple on it and it doesn't have any of your specific customizations. Also, for some people, the social media icons on the website could be a little aggressive. Uh, they're really big and again, it's probably because they're gearing their audience toward influencers or the younger crowd, not necessarily working professionals. Like the link card, the Popple card costs a little bit of extra money if you wanna use some of their extra features like embedding a video or linking a specific link, like a, a specific Google Drive link or something like that. The pro version of the Popple card cost about $48 per year, which, you know, if you're using this card often, it could be worth it. And because Popple card only costs $20, some people might not mind spending the extra 50 per, for the year. Finally, we have the blue social card. Oops, I was holding it upside down. <laughs> Finally, we have the blue social card. The blue social card did allow me to put my logo on it and I chose to do this, this logo. But as you can see, it has their branding on the bottom of it. So this card was $55 and for the price, it's pretty decent. It does feel pretty plasticky like a hotel card. One of the other cons of this business card was that you had to download an app, which is an extra step that you have to go through when creating your account and your profile. 
I will say the app was a little not user friendly um, because I had a difficult time setting it up and I couldn't quite figure out how to edit the profile. But again, that could just be user error. But I think for you know an average consumer, I, I think that the user experience is super important and that you, you have to be able to easily set up your profile without having to research anything or do anything like that. One downfall of the blue social card is that there is, there's no option to add a link or embed a video without having to pay the pro price. And that is about $5 per month. And that's the blue social card. It comes in at $55 and it's not too bad, especially because it allows you to customize the card. So if I had to choose between one smart business card and I had all the money in the world, I would definitely go for the OVU card. I think the user experience for the OVU card is the best. Um, it was super easy to use and the material is still looks and feels premium despite it being made out of a, a thicker plastic. I also really like how the OVU card doesn't actually cost any money right now. So I can embed a video to my profile or have a customizable link without having to pay, you know, $50 per year or anything like that. I will say I do OVU is going to have certain subscription services for business accounts which would allow you to, you know, have way more custom customizations. But for the standard user like me, not having to pay anything monthly and having that option to embed a video, especially cuz I'm a YouTuber, is perfect. So if you don't want to spend the $150 on a smart business card, which options should you go for? If you don't care about having branding on the physical card, I would definitely go for the Popple card. The Popple card, despite having to download an app for it, it was super user friendly and easy to use. Even the website when you scan the business card is really pleasing to look at and it has really large social media icons which for a young influencer like me is pretty enticing and I think that if you are out and about and you're trying to connect with other influencers then that would be perfect for you. And the Popple card only costs $20. The huge downfall about the Popple card is that you can't put your name or any customizations on it. Let me know in the comments below which business card you think would be right for you. And if you have any of these business cards and you want to drop a comment and explain why you think one is better than the other, please, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want more content like this. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!